The one and only Xylophony here, and the God Cards are back. There is a new Fusion Crystal Beast support that I think might just be able to help me get out some armor tile action. So we're going to see if that can work. And Mario has blended the new little Rocket Boys with some God Cards of his own, and he has yet to tell me what they are. So, this will be interesting. Uh, yeah, Adamantia, apparently we had a little bit of a suggestion to use a certain a certain card that is supposed to help out the God Cards, but... It's been, there's no way of actually using it properly, but with this new uh, archetype, it might actually be possible. I'm interested to see. Right. First off, I'm gonna play the one of the cards I need. Convulsion of Nature. Oh boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Had a feeling that would uh, have some interesting use with uh, Adamashio. And then I'll use this. Now to, now to test this, I'm going to use Analyzer. Analyzer's effect. Oh boy. Special summon one of the excavated monsters. Yes, please. Let's bring out the Leonite. Very good. And let's see if I put this on the top. Ah, okay. Now what you're aiming for? Well, not the exact order I put it in. So it yeah, still cause... treats... Remember, that card doesn't put anything on the top of the deck, so... I know, I... I thought this card would allow me to, you know, cheat the system and allow me to mess with the top cards of the deck. Oh, well, well no, the top cards are now... The bottom cards and the bottoms are now the tops, so... Mm -hmm. That's what Convulsion of Nature does. Alright, so... Field card goes off. You can do it again! There you go, oh. Plenty of cards. I love to just flipping around the decks. So gonna have a rough time in this duel. This does allow me to, uh... This does yep. allow me to mess with the top cards, at least. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so doing this... I'll bring out... Dragite. Alright. Dragite allows me to look at the top five cards. Which you just kinda helped organize. Mm-hmm. Let's see... Yeah, let's get out... Oh boy. Mess with the bottom order, I forget. <laughs> oh well. Up is down, top is bottom, who knows what's going on anymore. Yeah, the convulsion is messing with me a little bit. <laughs> yep. Alright, so yeah, you saw my foolish burial, which is great. I also have an Armageddon Knight, which is great. And I have a Pot of Extravagance, which is great. So let's start with that, because that's the first thing I need to do. I did run Pot of Extravagance in a deck that requires fusion, just because, well, I, I want it. <laughs> I want draw power. <laughs> and I have three copies of Armatile in here. Two of them are gone now, but I only really need but, one. So. And you only have one of that of that uh, pot card in your deck, right? Mm -hmm. Um, No, I have two Extravagances. <laughs> let's just hope I don't land on any, the other one. Uh, let's see if you can be lucky with that. Yeah... Alrighty, so let's see what we can do here. I think our goal is definitely that and that. We have a, a Foolish Burial, and we can use that um, to definitely send... Uh, let's see, does this guy do anything in the graveyard? I think he's on the field. Let's see, yeah. So I want to get the um, Dark Summoning Beast into the graveyard, almost 100%. Yep, that's yep. our boy. Nothing really else to do with that. And I suppose I... Will I already see you have the fairy box. Knife. You have the fairy box right on the top? Yeah, who knows if that's what I'm going to get or not. Um, but let's see, then we'll send to the graveyard another Dark Summoning Beast. And we'll at least activate one of these boys. And get our stuff. Let's go for Hamam. Yeah, because with the new card that was added in... I need to get those cards to my hand. Yeah, or field or graveyard. Yep. Guess um, just because it won't do anything else, I might as well do that. And there, I have all three. <laughs> Oh, that, do you already have all three? Yep, that being said, I need to survive long enough to draw the right card. Now, I was kind of trying to take advantage of the Convulsion of Nature and just see if the Fusion card will pop up to the top of the deck. But there's other options as well that I'm considering, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Yep. Let's just do this real quick. Yeah, go for it. Let's see. Ooh, I hate that. Yep. <laughs> and I sort the order. Yep, oh, yep, yep. Look who's on the top of there. 
Oh yeah. I'll bless the Tormentor. Okay, gonna bring back your Analyzer. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Analyzer is going to let me look at the top five cards. Very good. And I can choose one of the Crystal Beasts. I'm not Crystal Beasts. Adamantia yeah. Crystal. <laughs> and then sort the bottom order of the deck. Which doesn't really matter. Ooh. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, the true name. That's what we heard about. Um, I'm going to flip this while I still have the opportunity. Abyss Stungray. Just because I know if you get that uh, Dragite into the graveyard, then the big dragon boy can just kind of shut me down. So we'll just play that. And thank you to Dragite, I get to draw the card. Yep. Then I'll activate... Okay. Hmm. I, I don't on the top see here, it. Yeah, I don't see it yet, so... What are you looking for? I was hoping to put one of the, the obelisk you just saw on the top. Oh, okay. Not quite. Not yet, no, because if I were to activate it, declare one card name, execute the top of your deck. Oh, wait, I, I just need to I declare what the card, top card Mm-hmm. So let me just activate that real quick. The true name. Okay. Yeah, as long as you get it right, boom. There it is. Oh my goodness, you got it right! What are the chances? And then that allows me to special summon Obelisk, the Tormentor. Pretty solid. Then, I will then use this to bring out Mega Ooh, Rock. Mega quick. Rock as well. And this let's fill in a field. Then tributing these three. <laughs> oh, baby. I have made a more consistent obelisk than you did with your old dramas. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait, that's Was right. Was that I a brag? <laughs> I remember. No, because I remember. Uh, old dramas could not just bring out obelisk. Remember your. Yeah, they're old dramas, not... Mario. <laughs> I don't think anyone would assume they can do so. Do that to get rid of that one. Yeah, I was like, hey, hey he's right, going right to battle. <laughs> I figured you'd figure it out soon enough, though. But hey, I did make you waste some other good cards for now. I still got to get around Obelisk with uh, nothing. Right, that was the one with the true name effect. Yeah, I can play. <laughs> Next guy, I, I got the two mix up which one I normal summoned and which I special summoned. <laughs> Excellent. Um, well, I guess I'll activate Fallen Paradise and. Do I have any more Dark Monsters to send to the graveyard off Armageddon Night? We're about to find out. I guess I have the regular um, few things. I'm um, just going to thin out the deck and really reshuffle things. We'll get a Phantom of Chaos into there. That's fine. Well, don't need that either. And I will attack you and end my turn after that. Because we really got to get that Fusion Guard or just a second monster onto the field. Then we have other plans. Because obviously there's some more stuff I can do too. I get the summoning mechanics of this deck more consistent, but that's not what it's about. We're just doing for these god cards here. All right, let's put you on top. All right, good to go. Ah, yes, the researcher. Huh? That let me organize. Yep. Hmm. No, it let me sort them twice in a row, which is oh. kind of weird. Okay. Hmm. Well, we got that researcher on the top. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to set a card. All right. So, we already knew this combo works. Convulsion in nature and... Yeah, we've training. seen that before. So, I'm just going to get this little cat on the field. All right. Yay, gravity mind. Um, but more importantly, I would like to... Oh, I can't. Darn it. Let's see. Where's my boy at? What do I need for this? Two effect monsters. Oh, he counts as a normal one, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Okay. So, um... Good. There's a few things I could do here. Um, we're going to normal summon using the Phantom Cat. The Dark Summoning Beast. We're... You know what we're going to do? We're going to activate him. And get ourselves out from the deck. Uriah. 
And then we're gonna activate this just to get some more cards drawn. Come on, big draws, big draws. Nope. Didn't really need Greffer right now. Alright, and then what I might be able to do with this is... Yeah, we'll just roll with it. We're not aiming to get Uriah out here. We're aiming to get something more. So we're gonna set that. We'll start setting more cards. And activate this. Please work, please work, please work. Sending away that. And its effect will now summon Armatile! By using that is actually a really you. good use of Predaplant. Yep. Bum, ba, ba, ba. Now what must we do? <sighs> oh no. Oh yeah, I can't battle either. Because of... Oh, Anaconda? Um, I forget why. Oh, Dark Summoning Beast. That's why. Oh yeah, because he used Dark Summoning Beast. Yep. Which okay. is fine. Uh, let me take a look. Let us see. Alright, I'll normal summon my Adamantia Researcher. Alright. Okay, Researcher, you already know that effect. Yep. Unfortunately, with how you have to hope that the top cards are what you need, you can't run things that like get a 2 or 3. I mean, 2 or 1. Yeah, fair enough. Alrighty. Let's see, so this new uh, Dimension Fusion Destruction card while Mario's going through his motions. I'll talk about it a little more. So you get to special summon pretty much any Chaos Phantom Fusion Monster from the extra deck. And you do need to have all the other things in motion either in the graveyard or something. So a deck that can field all these guys into the graveyard should make it work perfectly fine. True name. Get that third card out nice and easy. Um, but yeah, the oh. trick... I'm unsure because both copies are in the grave right now. Oh, you only got two. Okay. Well, it's because I had to pick some cards to balance yeah, out. Yeah, of course. Generally, when okay. you're trying to make a god card deck that actually works, you don't stuff it with god cards. Yeah, but... Yeah, I was, it didn't say it had to be from deck, so I was thinking maybe it could add it from the uh, from the graveyard back to the hand. Mm -hmm. But no, it didn't. But I can do this, though, since it, it did add it to the hand. Yep. You get to go ahead Thank and special summon that thing, and I frankly cannot stop it, so more power to you. And then I can add one card to the top of the deck. Yep, yep, yep. I will add in the guy, Seeker. Activate Analyzer. Very good. But yes, when I uh, summon us, if I take damage from attacks involving Yeah, it, and, and there uh, it is. My opponent cannot activate cards. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. When you start running out of the crystals, it's, hard, it's a harder gamble to try to get one in the top five yeah, cards. Yeah, because now they're starting to fill up your graveyard rather than your deck. Mm-hmm. It's like when you run multi-roll and already use the path your Sky Striker cards. Or the uh, field yeah. card, rather, not multi-roll. Uh, but still, you have options. Yep, like going into Reptite. Reptite yep, will yep. allow me to, to get some cards moving. Yes, the little search and excavate. Yep, special summon a rock. And I will bring out the Seeker. And then I can sort out the order. Then using Seeker. Very good. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself a rock again. Luckily, the luckily all the, uh, the rocks are the same level, so it doesn't matter which one you excavate yeah. from the top. You can just get any of them, and then you can go into all your synchro options. Mm-hmm. Put that on the back on the top. Nice. There's going to be a lot of rocks for you to use, buddy. Oh, yeah. If only if only allow me to put back the god card on the top. Mm-hmm. You know what would be sick in that deck? Upstart Goblin. Actually, yeah. Because you're, you're just you're like, not well, wrong. it's a good time for Upstart Goblin. Bloop. It's not like a, you don't play it at the beginning of the turn. You play it when you see that card you really want. What's yeah. this guy do again? Target a rock monster special summon it. Yikes. Oh no, he's just doing this. That whole flicker again. Mm-hmm. And let's add this. Alright. When a monster effect is activated and you control a synchro, negate it. Nice, nice, nice. But I do sort a lot, and you can see the number of my cards in my deck start to go down. Yeah. But so is yours, because you... I think you searched more than I did. Um, a little bit. Darn it. 
All three. But yeah, I can return your things based on the top five cards I have. Yeah. Which, using this, Lupinite, I can actually organize to make sure. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I'll be needing to do that as... Your, I don't think your fusion protects you from destruction. Oh, no, it just prevents. Not. And it, it only does that if I already have a one of these guys on the field. But you know what is nice? Statue of Anguish pattern. And you know what comes after that? A very effective bait. Oh. Wait, can I not destroy? <gasps> that tried yeah. his basic effect. Yeah, he can't oh, destroy by battle. No. Although I thought you were going to still do damage to him, but I guess... Maybe that's what no, that's a, that was the that was what your fusion prevents. Does it now? Let's see. Ignoring it so many conditions, and you take no battle damage. Okay, so that's before the other effect. Got it. Lovely. Now I'll destroy your anaconda at least. All right. Well, this is why I baited you out. <laughs> I can't attack now. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that because I have a bigger monster on the field, but it's funny. Yeah, normally you're playing around with, like, ranks. You never see this card, actually. You never see this card. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Ooh, another Fallen Paradise. This would be funny. Oh, wait, you know, I can know it. Yeah, it's a hard one. Use the effect once a turn. So, draw more cards, please. Uh, oh, wait, I can do stuff right now? Yeah, you can probably negate it with your guy who negates it. Yep. And, and then negate that yep. effect. Great. Uh, let them... Okay, so I will do this real quick. Alright. And that will allow me just to set up this guy in the face-up defense position. Nice, nice. I really shouldn't have activated that gravity bind. <laughs> <laughs> I was just doing it for the jokes. And this one just allows me to banish a card from your graveyard. Yep. And I, and I know what card to banish. Yeah, I already banished most of the good ones. Stop banishing your traps. Sure. Lower your area that's eventually gonna come out. Fair enough. Alright. Are you. I, I did say I had it, but I, I also just said that I um couldn't use it twice in a turn. Alright, so now I think with this new card I can't use it on banished targets, can I? Well, let's see, by banishing from your field, graveyard, or hand. So yeah, that means I can't really do anything, unfortunately. So in that kind of style of deck, do you just run one of each of the sacred gods, or do you just run like one Haman, one maybe um, one Uria? No, yeah. I think you would run two Urias, one Haman and one Raviel. That, that's what I am running. <laughs> that's like, yeah, because Uria is the easiest to use out of the three. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So yeah, that guy's not really gonna do anything. But there form. is that downside that if you uh, if you do send it to the graveyard, you're trying to get out the fusion. We know what card is. We, it would make that a very bad choice. Yep. Well, this duel is uh, until you clear out Gravity Bind pretty much a rep, which I think you can do. Yeah. And activate that now. Yep. Uh, I could solely protect it with Imperial Custom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't destroy it. Oh, yeah, true. That. Uh, that's right. You know, it's, it's only protects from destruction. You're just going to send it back to hand. All right. And then sort the order. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I don't know why I didn't target your armor tile to return. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, um... Yeah, I oh, don't know. No, no, no. Like, I, I really should have. I was thinking I could still destroy oh, him if okay. I can attack. Gotcha. Gotcha. That was my bad. It's all good. I don't mind. Anything else? Defense mode. <laughs> Fair. Defense mode. Fair. Defense mode. Because <laughs> even if I were to just attack and try to deal damage to your anaconda, that's yep. still 10,000 in my face, and I don't survive that no matter how much I attack points. Mm -hmm. There's that attack I was looking at. Ooh, called. I don't have any in graveyard, because I banish them all to do this. Might want to even run multiple copies of each of these if you're trying to use the this stuff. I don't know. True. Uh, just negate that. Sure. Uh, get rid of this trap card, so that way your card only has... Well, mm -hmm. even if I do, you still have, like, 3,000 base, no matter what. Well, he doesn't have any base, but... Just really relies on whatever traps are in there, so... 
When it comes down to that, if I can ever summon him, you're doing the right play. Yeah, all that defense mode ain't gonna really cut it. Not for me. So I'll use this. And now, one card you could try running to try to sweep them with this, if you're going for armor tile, is the forced attack orders. Yeah, I think I have that in the deck, actually, so. You I'm haven't just, just drawn it yet? Yeah. Right, well, well, I know you ha it's not gonna be your next card. <laughs> How do you know that? Um, let's see, what would we like to stop? I guess we want to kill that it's, thing. It's like, it's like real life Uno, you had to keep your cards hidden, but you're not doing that. I'm not doing it very well, am I? <laughs> okay. So that's out of the way at the very least. Another water one. Okay, I still have more dragons. Oh man. <laughs> But if you somehow stop this, I'm unable to stop you. Hmm. That just sends him right there, doesn't it? That is accurate. Wait, I can't target you because if you're fallen paradise, can I? Oh yeah, I think that is the case. And it No, I think it's just destroyed. You your should. opponent cannot target oh, these cards. Targets in there and too? Great. Armadile's in there. Very good. Oh, wait, no, it's saying I can now? Oh, right. okay. That's targeting. It doesn't say anything about targeting, though. Oh, yeah, in your monster knows with card effects. Um, hmm. Interesting. Oh, grammar, right. It doesn't say target, it uses you can return. It doesn't say anywhere about targeting. Oh. And because of classic. that, Yu Gi Oh! is classically like saying. Oh, then that means it doesn't protect it. Mm -hmm. Very good. I don't think this is game. Nope, especially not if I bring a little something something back from the graveyard. Oh, who are you bringing back? Oh, it's gonna be the Phantom of Chaos. If he can turn right into something. Oh, he's in attack mode though. <laughs> uh, yeah. You want, if you're Since trying to I put him in defense mode, we'll just you want this. called to the, called to the front back. Because that one is the one that can special summon in defense position. Mm -hmm. It's not a continuous card, though. So that'll go off. I'll let that ride. Now we'll flip up statue. You know what? Nah, chain order. Statue of Anger's Pattern. Why aren't you supposed to use Anguish Pattern first? Well, no, he's gonna come out first now. Right. And then he gets a success. I've learned! <laughs> and... Will you destroy that? I don't know, I really hate that Dragite, don't I? Um, Dragite is the boss monster. <laughs> yeah, I think I actually will destroy Dragite here. Uh Oh, wait, that card I added to my hand. No! My plan! I had a plan! Well, you do have one thing, though. I can... Oh, wait. I thought I already attacked with Dragite. Yeah. But now I don't have three of these guys around, so... You had already had you? Uh, yeah, of course. I told you I had him at the very beginning. Darny. <laughs> oh, look at your next card after that. I'm, I mean, yeah, we know. You know I just drew a trap, so... But yeah, I can't summon it. Okay. Yeah, I think running up three of these would be very crucial. You don't even have to burn anything to do that. That is crazy. Yeah. yeah shame Obelisk couldn't do anything this game. Yeah, because I messed up. Or else I would have had double... It would have at least had one Obelisk to play around on the field. Mm -hmm. But it does prove that it can work. If I had one more Obelisk, he'd be on the field right now. Yeah. All right. Because with this, how with how quickly does that ghost your cards and how you can set up the yeah. top card... So that'll help you out getting that Honestly, convulsion extra I, quick. I think this is a solid deck right here. Mm -hmm. Convulsion of Nature actually has nothing to do with how this deck will work out, though. You don't need Convulsion of Nature in this deck at all to make that work. Uh, Well, I kind of do, because either I use that or the field spells in order to know what the actual top card well, that's, of the deck is. Well, that's where the synergy is. Like, you have cards to know what the top, of the card, top deck card is. Yeah, that is true. And, like, Convulsion Nature is just a bad card. 
<laughs> it just is. It's a funny card, but it's a bad card. So, I think if you actually want to mix it into a deck that it'll actually be used and not just for a gimmick, then it would be to use the Adam Ashu cards to see it. Yeah. I don't know. Every deck can use some fine tuning. Mm hmm. And we'll set that. And we'll set that. And we'll set that. And we'll set that. Oh, you're trying to. Okay, so I gotta make sure I pick the Imperial Order. <laughs> what? Well, I know I'm not gonna be getting the full five return effect, so. Because that's a mega rock right there. That's true. That's two. That, no. No! I have to choose two. Oh, you to get return. two? Okay. Uh, let's do this one and this one. Hmm. I live another town. Did you actually I don't, get... I just negate my traps when I use them, so... Oh, right. Yeah, I... Yep. Metal Reflect Slime! Activate. Negate that. Wait, did that... Was that the wrong order? I have no idea. Okay, it didn't matter. Didn't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's have the line finish you off. Yep. That was a good duel, though, no matter what. Yeah. I almost want to do another one just so we can actually see the uh, god card stuff happen. So let's All go. Right. All right. I'll let you... And that was after one duel. Like, it doesn't show consistency. Oh, it, I need to be able to show consistency. Yeah, of course. All righty. And at least at the pace you did it, it certainly wouldn't work in a regular duel. But... No. Hand traps are still a thing. Mm-hmm. That's with any god card deck. There's almost no god card deck that will be able to stand up with hand traps in game. Well, I mean, certain decks there's like the synergy just mixes in pretty well. Oh, look at that. That's that's convenient, isn't it? Oh, interesting. Okay. So we got that going. Oh, look at that next card. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, I is... certainly can't use anything yet either. So, but on my turn. No, I kind of chose to uh, not do anything because it's the first turn. Okay. Wouldn't have made any um, difference whatsoever, but... Yeah. Alright. I can probably stick one double summon so that way when I spam the monsters on the field, I can be able to get a lot more. Maybe. There's all that. Let's get his partner out. The Fleonite. Mm -hmm. And of course, set the cards at the bottom for some reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Destroy. Okay. So you get to sort your stuff again. Uh, okay. Uh, no, this one's allowing me to put something on the top of the deck. This is another way for me to be able to use the yeah. true name, actually. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You don't need the Convulsion for this deck. Mm -hmm. I think that's where this energy lies. Of course, Convulsion was the you know, classic way to make it work. But there's that. And does this guy do anything when he's in there? I don't think so. Get out of here, Seeker. Luckily, I do have the sign to bring him ah, right back. Very nice. Uh, luckily, I have another statue of anguish power to kill the rock. Mm -hmm. I was kind of hoping to time it out where the top card was going to be. Uh... Actually, I'll just be savage and just kill him again. Darn you. <laughs> and look, Fine. I have three trap monsters on my field. Oh dear. I might not get to keep three trap monsters on my field. <laughs> Well, I won't be able to activate Obelisk's effect, though. Yeah, true. But I believe you can attack. Yeah, I'm able to attack, but the question is whether or not I want to add him to the hand, or if I want to special summon him. True. And I think I'm going to want to uh, add him to the hand, in all honesty. Really? Because I won't be able to do anything substantial to you this turn, and he'll be gone by the end phase. Oh, yeah, true. He is gone by the end phase. I forgot that part with him. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. So I'm just going to end it right there. I know I'm going to deal with Uria, but yeah. I'll hopefully be able to do something next turn. Um, yeah. I think... Yeah, it's definitely going to be Uria. Um, I could get my... Uh... 
try to play a card out here, but I just don't have all three of the other things yet. Wait, I can activate this now. Oh, sweet, sweet synergy. I lucked into this one. Okay. We are going to activate the fusion card and bring what? out this by using Metal Reflect Slime as one of the level 10s. And we'll bring out this one. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. How are you able to... Who's this Phantasm? This guy just takes level 10s. But yes, he is the other Chaos Phantom Fusion card. I didn't know this. Is he an anime card? No. It's a new card. He's a... He's a... He's new. Yeah. And let's see. When this... Let's see. If this card is special summoned, or if another card is special summoned from the graveyard to your field while monsters on the field, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Inflict damage equal to half its original attack. Fine. Okay. Um, well, zero attack is zero attack. <laughs> yep. Let's... I had no idea this guy existed. Mm -hmm. There we go. Did he just come out? I think it came out with the fusion card. I think it came out. That was what the fusion card was for. It wasn't on any of the. It wasn't on the site. It was on my GoPro. I saw it. Picked it by right. I was like, oh, oh what's a what's a Chaos Phantom card? Oh, he's cool. <laughs> I honestly, is that why you didn't say anything when he said, is there any more like fusions? I didn't know he was a secret. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I mean, he's not particularly good either, so. <laughs> okay, well, let's just do this. He's not going to be able to do anything with him. Analyzer. Uh, well, he just is another option, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. Yeah, now I can't bring Armatile out because I spent my cards, so. But yeah. It was just something for me to do. And I did want to bring him out at some point in this duel, because that's what the fusion card does. Alright, so you do get all that, unfortunately. I don't have another trap monster to stop you this time. Alright, drag guides at the top of the deck. This is one of the weaker ones, since I didn't get a uh, combo summon off. Yay. Wait, what? Why is that forcing me to only bring it out to this one? Oh, wait. I activate. I might have actually selected the wrong rolls or something. I made sure to hit yes. Huh. I don't know. I think I might have actually accidentally clicked no at the beginning because we never really clarified we wanted this to be a Master Roll 5 duel. Yeah. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> the matches are just too good. They're a really solid deck, not gonna mm -hmm. lie. Oh, and look what's on the top. Yeah. That's gonna be a good card next turn. Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of one of these before you get in the, the trap monster and bring up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure only one one destruction effect goes off regardless. No, they can both go off. Okay. I remember that was one of the reasons people hated my trap deck. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I lost, so. Back in the body actor days when I just used to duel everyone in, in that room that I used to body act for you, People just told me, no trap monster deck. Mm. I was like, aww. <laughs> All right. Are you able to do it? Uh, I'm trying to. All righty. Yeah, because I don't have any monsters in graveyard. We'll have to fight this against a deck that's more evenly matched for it. Yeah. Yeah, because god cards just can't quite fight against the... Oh, that's ironic. Activate true name. Mm -hmm. Let's see him do it. Out comes Big Obelisk. <laughs> the true name with the true name. If only you could use more than one a turn. Yeah, that would be kind of broken, wouldn't it? It would be a rare situation where that would ever come I don't to fruition. Get, I don't kill you, but this is still a big monster. Yeah. And I, well, I can't do anything for the rest of the duel anyway, so. Because Dragite. But yeah, no, the inclusion of the god cards is really good. Yeah, it definitely, you know, makes the Adamashia deck worse, because, well, it's watering it down. It doesn't really help the synergy of it whatsoever, but it. Yeah, but it, this is it like out. one of the better. This is better. This is one of the better Egyptian god card decks that we've seen. It's not really an Egyptian god card deck, though, is it? But, you know, it just has it in there as a side effect. 
But you know, it is one of those goofy things, like almost like you can do with the Haman Crystal Beast. Yeah. You know, we keep seeing support for like Sacred Beasts and all that, but we never really see like. Uh... Oh, I wonder what happens if I do this. <laughs> okay. I thought happens. it was gonna be weird. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be weird and cancel each other out. You. <laughs> the deck just spirals out of control. The game, if they caused a crash, I would have laughed. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna say it's a monster reborn. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm gonna just flip up this preemptively, just just throwing it out there. Oh look, it was a monster reborn. <laughs> wow, what are the chances? Oh, he doesn't have a water in there, so he can't. Then stop use that Monster stuff. Reborn, bring back Obelisk. Oh baby. Okay. Please don't tell me that's Fairy a... Box. Fairy Box. Yes. Let's see it. No. I don't have any attack points or anything, so it's just gonna be a situation like this. Obelisk, go. Fairy Box. No. Fairy Box. I swear, if you win because of Fairy... <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. Hey. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, Fall in Paradise. Your, your Fairy Box Luck Silo. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This is the way. that roll through actually with that could be useful unless you can negate him uh yeah call the haunted there and we got a third player lovely and he can of course send our boy to the graveyard um yeah dark summoning beast thank you very much well you won't be able to attack what do you mean? I'm not using the effect of Dark Summoning Beast. And... Oh, yeah. And you're gonna get two draws at the end of this turn. Yep. I mean, when you summon him. Excellent. Well, at least I know it won't be a kill. Nope. But I have a chance now! I actually thought you had a water monster in the graveyard, but you don't, so Dragite can't actually use his effect. That's why I was so downtrodden yep. earlier. Yeah, no, I need a... Uh, yeah. That's one of his weaknesses. The water rock, dude. Yeah. His original crystal oh, monster mm -hmm. self. You know, I would have loved if I ha if I was able to hope for a uh, Adamantia sign so he could have brought back Dragon and win, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uriah! Well, you you want to know what the other card in my hand is? What? It's Obelisk. <laughs> Remember I added one using mm -hmm. true name earlier? I do. I had a nice juicy nightmare wheel on the field as well. Oh man, we got another uh, Dark Summoning Beast. And I think I do have one more um, of some kind in the deck. One more Sacred Beast. But Uriah, get him with your Oriole goodness! Yeah. <laughs> well, very good. So, turns out that the, yeah, well, the fusion card, if you want to play Armatile and stuff, you can now. It's still yeah, not so, easy by any means, but it's not impossible anymore. No, and actually thinking about it, that just needs some level 10 monsters that Phantasm one, right? The other guy, he's just not very good, so. Yeah, but that also means that you could have that card along with, like, a normal orange and just be using the trap monsters to bring it out. It banishes them, though, so unless you got something to bring back your banished monsters. We'll see. There are there are some cards that allow you yeah. to re put back banished cards back into the. They exist. Right it's just I, I don't know anything that'll uh, like already have that rather than just adding the card specifically to because then you're gonna have a lot of a lot more dead cards and and while we know with god cards the problem is you're gonna get dead cards in your hand so we'll see what it comes down to but who knows maybe that could create some weird burn deck 
sort of thing with his effect. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you want to see more with either of these decks, then let us know in the comments down below. I know there's definitely a lot more that could be done with the uh, Adamashia deck. That seems like one that can just like casually hold that in it, of course, without the convulsion of nature and all that, but we will see about that. And if you got any other ideas on how we can use that fusion card, let us know. But thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya, folks.